हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस टू डिसेप्शन दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मैप्स एंड मॉडल्स इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक्स एंड एक्सियम्स ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी एंड वी सॉल्व अ लॉट ऑफ सम्स ऑन सिमिलैरिटी सो इफ यू हैव एंड वॉच दोज वीडियोज येट गो वॉच दम द लिंक टू दोज वीडियोज विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डू गिव इट थम्स अप शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet without further ado let's begin maps and models now this is an application of similarity and it is a very easy thing imagine that you have a very big object and you want to represent that object on a small map or model so what will you do you will use a scale and that is what we are going to learn today say for example you own a land which is 500 meters long a land which is 500 meters long and you want to represent this land on a map what will you do now you won't be able to find a paper which is 500 meters long so you will try to contract or shrink this length so that it can be represented on a map say I represent this 500 meters of land by 1 cm on the map. Then what does that mean? That means that 500 meters on the actual ground is equal to 1 cm on the map. So 500 meters is basically equal to 50000 cm. So that means 50000 cm on the actual ground is equal to 1 cm on the map and what is scale over here scale is equal to the length on the map which is 1 cm by the length on the actual ground which is 50000 cm so this is the scale and this is what we use to contract or shrink something to represent it on a smaller map or model this is also written as k is equal to 1 is to 50000 okay so this is what is scale we have a few more things number 1 k is equal to length of the map or model by actual length the thing that we did over here 1 cm length on the map by 50000 cm length on the actual ground then we have k square is equal to area of the map or model by actual area now it is the same thing as this only in place of length we have the area and in place of k we have k square now why is k square over here area is of two dimensional figures we will have a length and a breadth that is why k is squared over here and thirdly we have k cube is equal to volume of the model by the actual volume the same thing and we have k cube over here why is k cube over here volume is of three dimensional figures we have a length a breadth and a height that is why k cube is over here now you have to remember one more thing which is you have to remember that the scale will be in form k is equal to 1 is to x or 1 by x like we have over here k is equal to 1 is to 50000 or 1 by 50000 this is what will be given in your question paper both mean the same thing also you need to keep one more thing in mind which is whenever you are doing this you have to keep the units same like i did over here see i had 500 meters but i used centimeter centimeter so the unit needs to be same or your answer will be wrong so keep this in mind whenever you are doing this you will keep the unit same whether it is the length the area or the volume okay now this is a simple thing to understand and i hope you understood it we will solve a few sums and after those sums i am sure you will understand maps and models easily so let's move on to the sums beginning with the first sum the model of a building is constructed with a scale factor 1 is to 30 number 1 if the height of the model is 80 cm you have to find the actual height of the building in meters and number 2 if the actual volume of a tank on the roof is 27 m cube you have to find the volume of the tank on the top of the model let's begin 
we have the scale given which is 1 is to 30 so k is equal to 1 is to 30 let's check out number 1 if the height of the model is 80 centimeter you have to find the actual height of the building in meters now we know what is k k is equal to length of the map or model by the actual length so over here k will be equal to height of the model by the actual height okay then 1 by 30 is equal to the height of the model is given which is 80 centimeter and we have to calculate the actual height let's call the actual height as h therefore h is equal to 30 into 80 centimeter i told you the unit will be same so we will get centimeter over here which is equal to 2400 centimeter but we need the answer in meters so this will be equal to 24 meters so the actual height of the building is 24 meters I hope that's easy to understand. We move on to number 2 now. In number 2, if the actual volume of a tank on the roof is 27 meter cube, you have to find the volume of the tank on the top of the model. We know k cube is equal to volume of the model by the actual volume. That means k cube over here will be equal to volume of tank on model by the actual volume of tank on the building okay so we have k cube that means 1 by 30 cube is equal to we have to calculate the volume of the tank on the model let's call it v and the actual volume of the tank on the building is given which is 27 meter cube so we'll write 27 therefore v is equal to 27 divided by 30 cube 30 cube is 27000 so we get 1 by 1000 therefore volume of the tank on the model is equal to 0 0.001 meter cube okay so this is your answer i hope you understood this now we'll move on to the next sum moving on to number two a model of a ship is made to a scale of 1 is to 300 number one find the length of the ship if the length of the model is 2 meters number two the area of the deck of the ship is 180000 meter cube you have to find the area of the deck of the model and number three the volume of the model is 5 meter cube you have to calculate the volume of the ship so we have to do all the three things over here first let me write the scale the scale k is equal to 1 is to 300 okay let's start with number one find the length of the ship if the length of the model is 2 meters we know that k is equal to length of the model or map by the actual length so over here k is equal to length of the model by the actual length so we will have 1 by 300 is equal to the length of the model is given 2 meters we have to calculate the actual length of the ship let's call it l so l is equal to 300 into 2 meters which is 600 meters so the actual length of the ship is 600 meters we move on to number two the area of the deck of the ship is 180000 meter cube you have to find the area of the deck of the model okay we know for area k square is equal to area of the map or model by the actual area so over here we will have k square is equal to area of the model deck 
by actual area of the ship's deck therefore we have 1 by 300 squared is equal to you have to calculate the area of the model's deck let's call it a by the actual area of the ship's deck it's given which is 180000 therefore a is equal to 180000 by 300 into 300 so we have 6 2 so the area is equal to 2 meter square okay so we get the area of the model's deck which is 2 meter square now we move on to number 3 in number 3 the volume of the model is 5 meter cube you have to calculate the volume of the ship we know k cube is equal to volume of the model by the actual volume so we will have k cube is equal to volume of model by actual volume of ship so we will have 1 by 300 cube is equal to the volume of the model is given 5 meter cube let the actual volume of the ship be V therefore V is equal to 300 cube into 5 meter cube which is 27000000 into 5 meter cube which is equal to 1350000000 meter cube so this is your answer okay this was also very easy i hope you understood it now with the end of this sum i will end this video over here and the complete video series on similarity i hope you have understood similarity easily new videos on adception will be coming very soon until then stay tuned as always goodbye take care and all the best